review of my favorite brushes ever. You guys have heard me talk about them so freaking much. It's the Diva Beauty brushes. <sighs> now, little disclaimer at the beginning, I have never been paid from them. I have never, the only thing I've ever gotten from them is the brushes for free to review. That's it. I don't have an affiliate code, I don't have a referral link, nothing. So please understand that this is a completely honest review and I'm so genuinely, genuinely excited to share these with you because it's such a freaking good deal. And I know that like for me, I don't make a lot of money, I'm a freaking teacher, so finding inexpensive brushes that are actually really, really nice is hard to do. So when these kind of came around or came into my sphere of knowledge, I freaked out a little bit because they're so well made. I am also excited to say that they were nice enough to give three gift cards to you guys. They're all gonna be $50 each and it obviously will be a Diva Beauty gift card. And the ways to enter will be down below, but basically since there are three being given away, there will be three ways to enter. One will be on Twitter, one will be on Instagram, and one will be on Facebook. So um, you have to be, of course, subscribed to my channel to be able to enter. But um, the rules for entering on the different social media sites will be down below. But um, you'll only be allowed to enter once on each site. So that'd be three total entries. Um, you can't do it once per day. It gets a little overwhelming a little bit. So definitely check below for the info on how to enter the giveaway. And let's go ahead and dig into all the goodies of this brand. So for an overview of the brand, they have four different kits that they sell. Technically five, but one of them is a combination of both. But they also sell the brushes individually. And of course their website's below. But what I love about it is that they're inexpensive and on top of that, the actual brushes are just so well made. Another thing with the Rose Gold Feral, they have the Diva Beauty um, name engraved into the Feral. So it's so nice. And then the actual words on the brush, ha it's like this prismatic chrome rainbow effect in the words and it's just so pretty. And the, the um, actual brushes are so soft. I mean, it's one of those things that I'm like, <sighs> There's so much good about this. It's very rare for me to find something bad about these. So I'm just so blown away because these are absolutely as good if not better than the Sigma ones. And you guys know that I'm a Sigma affiliate and I'm not an affiliate for Diva Beauty. So <laughs> so the basic eye kit is $17. I'm looking down because it's I've got the website pulled up. The basic eye kit is $17 and it comes with these three brushes. It comes with the S07 Pro Blender, which I use all the time on um, just to pack shadow onto the lid. It's my favorite. This was one that I was really missing. Another one is the S06 Tapered Blender, which is just a big fluffy brush I use all the time for crease shadow because it's just kind of a really quick and easy application. You don't really have to think too much about it. And then there's the SO5 Eye Shader, which this is another one you could use to pack lid, um, shadow on the lid, but I also use it sometimes for a darker color in the crease. These three, what I will say about these three is when you wash them, these are the only ones that I noticed when I washed them, they were a little more frayed than when they had started. However, it's not so much, this is like the fourth time I've washed them. It's not so much, it looks more frayed before it dries all the way. Once it's completely dry, they seem pretty fine. So I don't know, but these were the only ones I noticed a little bit of fraying. The rest of them, I didn't notice any. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Now, the next thing is the buffer kit. And this is very similar to the one Sigma sells, where it's basically four different Kabuki uh, brushes. It goes for $39, so that's about $10 a piece. And again, you can buy these individually as well. Um, so basically it comes with a round top, a flat top, I'm trying to get these in order. A round top, a flat top, a like rounded angled one, and then a flat angled one. And so the rounded buffer is the BO2, and all of these I use for my foundation, but I really ended up liking the rounded one a lot for foundation, which surprised me. And then it also comes with the BO1 flat buffer, which is similar to the very famous Sigma one, which I also have, and honestly, they're the same. They're the same density. I think these might be denser or more dense, and uh, I, I like this one better. Uh, and these are so stupid soft. Ugh. So then there's the BO3 angled buffer, which is really nice. And then there's the flat angled buffer. These are good for like big areas of concealer because they're angled, you can really get in there. And it's just kind of personal preference whether you like the rounded or the flat. But again, these are so nice. Another kit that they have is the contour kit, and this one runs for $30, and it comes with three different brushes that are to aid in contouring. However, I use them in a million different ways. So the first most standout different one is the B05 Precise Contour, and this one just has a sharp edge there. It's really, really dense, but it really works well at getting in there. I think this is comparable to the 
that NARS one, the NARS Eda or Ida brush that everyone talks about. It's a little bit different. I don't. I think the NARS Eda brush is like maybe a little thinner, but I mean it's the same idea. And that one's so expensive. And this one individually you can buy or in the kit. Then one of the standout favorite ones, I think this is my favorite brush in the entire line, is the BO6 Pointed Contour. It's really like soft and it's dense but still really um, pliable or bendable and um, it just works to so seamlessly blend out your concealer without like actually taking the concealer off and onto the brush. It just blends it so beautifully. And you could use it a million ways. You could actually use it for contour or for highlight, but I just love it for concealer. And then this is the B07 Round Contour. And this one, it's really, it's a lot smaller, but I end up using it instead of for contour or anything, I'll either use it for powder highlight just to get um, in a specific area, or I'll use it for blush. And so I can be very precise with where I'm putting my brush, my blush and brush. I just ended up liking this. I traveled with this um, when we went to Mackinac Island and I ended up loving it for blush, so go figure. The last kit is their mini kit, and this was a recent one that they sent me. And it comes with four mini brushes, if you will, but they're like mini kabuki brushes because they're really dense. And again, Sigma sells a very similar line, but these are so much cheaper. But they, let's see, it runs for $30, did I already say that? And it comes with the S01, which is the mini flat brush, and it's just, just that. It's a very flat, like tiny kabuki brush. Then it comes with the S02 mini round brush, which is the same thing, but rounded. And then let's see what's next. The S03 is the mini angled brush. This is my favorite out of this line. And again, this one is awesome for concealer because you can really get in there. Or if you're spot concealing, any of these brushes are amazing. If you're wanting to contour your nose, you can use these to blend out the contour. Um, oh my gosh, there's so many ways to use these. And the last one in the line, or in the, yeah is the S04, which is the mini flat angled. So again, it's literally like miniature versions of their buffer kit. Um, they're just so cute. And these were brushes that when they sent them, I was like, I don't really know how I'm gonna use them, but then I found like a million ways to use them. And I think I ended up traveling with a couple of these too. I know I traveled with the S03 because it's just so useful. And again, for concealing and spot concealing, perfect. So the last kit that they have, which is a combination of two kits, is their Diva Kit, and it's $62, so it's a lot more expensive than the other ones, but it comes with the entire buffer kit and the entire uh, mini kit. So it is a pretty nice kit, but um, all of the kits are so good, and I, I have a feeling they're going to have new products coming out. I mean, I'm not for sure, but, but the thing is, these kind of cover so much. The only thing that I think that they're missing would be like maybe some blush brushes. Um, and again, I've used some of these for blush though anyway, so you kind of find a way to use them. But I would say, I'm just like looking at them, maybe just a plain old powder brush, a blush brush, maybe like small like eyeliner brushes, that might be nice. Um, but I have a feeling they're growing and it's really exciting to see, but they're, they're so well made, I just can't get over it. So definitely check them out if you're interested. Again, the giveaway info is down below if you are interested in that as well. And um, I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.